Hey there YouTubers, unboxing video time. So this is a WEN variable speed ro rotary toolkit with flex shaft, carrying case, and overall 101 accessories. Gonna unbox this and uh, let you all see what's inside. Model number there, 23103. If anybody wants a UPC code, there it is. Uh, hopefully I'll put a link down below for Amazon in case uh, you would like to purchase this. It was like 25 bucks somewhere in there. Now, you know, this is basically a uh, Chinese version, I'd say, of the good old journal tool. This actually kind of looks like it might have been open already. Um, you know, of course, they didn't uh, double box this. But then again, you can blame me for that, for not saying it was a gift item. So this did show up uh, two days after I ordered it, so I thought that was pretty good. And, you know, normally on this channel I do uh, pretty much just gaming, computers, and occasionally fitness stuff. And guess what? Occasionally tools, too. Uh, so, you know, it just kind of looks like it's just thrown in there, but could have been from shipping. There's the case before we get into it, you know, plastic. I don't know if it's built to last, but it is a uh, case. All right. Thanks for remembering when. Rotary tool. So there it is. Now, if I could find a piece of wood, I'd probably do some damage to it. Uh, of course, the instructions you got the chuck in there. All right, you know, hopefully these are just like all the other ones, right? So here's the uh, the flex tool, right on top, right? A little bit of instructions, putting it inside the uh, the collet, attaching it to the collet. So it would appear. Oh, not that side. It would appear it's this side. Um, interesting. So that must have been a cutaway in the photo. And somehow that fits on there, I guess. We'll see. We'll get that figured out eventually. But yeah, there's the directions, folks. Uh, do not cross the flex shaft. Da 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 da. I'm not sure what that says, if that's 5 inch minimum radius. Oh, with a sharp end. So you got to kind of keep this thing nice and soft. Now, my plan will be to uh, work on a guitar with this. Got to route out some pickups. All right, so the Dremel, the uh, rotary tool stickers coming off is right here um, there's that guy that comes off nice and easy right it's made out of plastic um, so what do we have on off button speeds probably right here right looks like it's a bunch of speeds if that's the case um, the obviously on the other end of the plug. So I looked at the uh, Dremel. Somewhere in this house I actually have a Dremel. I thought about buying a replacement Dremel. But um, we did not uh, like the prices on it. So we didn't get it. We decided to try this. There's the RPMs. 1120. No. Sorry. Speed. 10,000 to 32,000 RPMs. I should get my glasses. AC motor uses one amp, 60 hertz, 120 volts. Okay, put that to the side. You know, when you look at this on the good old uh, Amazon, it looks like the all the crap that comes with it's better, right? But so you got some uh, cutoff wheels here. 
different types. I don't know if the instructions actually tell you specifically. That is definitely on the good old uh, Amazon. Some more cutoff wheels. So I imagine we could cut through some steel here with this stuff, hopefully. Got some sanders. Uh, of course, to use that, you'll need this guy, right? Here's a little wrench uh, in case you want to tighten it down or untighten it. Now it does include uh, a couple of drill bits. What is that? 1 16th, 1 8th, somewhere in there. There's a, uh, looks like an Allen wrench in here. So I will have another set that I, like I said, I bought. Nope. It's a little rod that looks like an Allen wrench. Uh, and bent 90 degrees. So we have a couple of tools to remove material. Hopefully this is good for wood because that's what I'm planning on doing with it, folks. We're going to take off some wood with it. One of these might be an engraver. Then you've got all this stuff over here for working on uh, probably what? Stone, concrete, steel maybe. There's all the bits though. So a variety of those. Um, polishing. Not sure what I'm going to do with that. Maybe a sharpening brock. And then what is this? A spare? Spare or an adapter? But yeah, that's that's it, folks. Uh, you know, I think this was either fifteen bucks or twenty some bucks, but uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see how it is. Uh, leave your comments down below if you bought it, you didn't like it. Now here is uh, exact details of what's included. So let's go through the manual real fast. I mean, I know I opened it up, but. We didn't spend a lot of time on it. So what buttons did I miss? There's the variable speed dial, which wasn't that easy to turn, just so you know. Ventilation slots, hanger, flex shaft, we talked about that. Cullet nut, locking collar, spindle lock button, carbon brush cover, and then you see the different numbers there. So, you know, sanding drums, sanding band, sanding disc, all kinds of stuff. Um, the ones I was curious about was 12 diamond bit, 13 grinding bit. 11 of course is a drill bit. So that's that and then over here explanation of what each thing does. Oh okay so here you go. Diamond bits, engraving wood, plastics and metals such as aluminum. Drill bit, cutting tool used to drill into materials. Yeah no kidding. Grinding stone bit. So yeah, this doesn't look like it has exactly what yours truly needs. But thanks for checking out the video. Please like.